Hi everyone, it's Anastasia from Dream and Draw Art School and today I'm going to show you the materials that we need for watercolor sketching. Let's begin! So we'll need a simple pencil, any medium hardness HB is fine. I use a mechanical pencil by Lamy. It gives a thin line and it doesn't need sharpening all the time. And of course you can use any pencil you have. Next we will need an eraser. You can have any eraser you have in your local store, but also it is ideal if you buy a kneadable eraser. The kneadable eraser is a special soft and peelable eraser. It doesn't damage the watercolor paper. But of course, uh, if it is not possible to find the kneadable eraser, you can use any regular eraser you have, but uh, please erase with it carefully. Also, for the watercolor sketching, of course, we will need a liner. A liner is a fountain pen with a metal tip, which makes it easy to draw thin lines. Liners can be waterproof and non-waterproof. It is very important to check the liner before you use it on your uh, watercolor paper. All you need is to check your liner before applying the watercolor on your paper and if it is not waterproof, just draw with it after the watercolor. I recommend to all my students these uh, liners Pigma Micron, Unipin from Mitsubishi Pencil and Shinhan Touch liners. They are waterproof, you can also take a Faber Castell liner, but make sure it is waterproof and then you can use it. Sometimes you may just look at your liner and it is written right on them that they are waterproof. Also, I recommend to take liner sizes from 0.1 to 0.5. And of course, if it is not possible to find liners in your local store, don't worry, you can draw with the usual regular black ballpoint or gel pen. But also make sure that they are waterproof. Okay, let's move on. You will need two brushes, both round and with a sharp tip. One thin size 2 or 3 and the second one medium size 6 or 8. It is ideal if your brushes are synthetic for watercolor, uh, such as imitation of Kalinsky sable or imitation of squirrel or natural brushes, Kalinsky for example, uh, and you can take uh, brushes from Van Gogh, Winsor & Newton, Escoda, Mine brushes are from Jackson's. If you are just starting to draw and want to try watercolor sketching, just take any brushes that are available or that you have at home. The main thing is that they should be round and for watercolor. Next, of course, we will need watercolor paints. The ideal option is student or professional watercolor, for example, Van Gogh, Sennelier, Schminke, Rembrandt or Daniel Smith or any other watercolor actually. Any basic set of watercolor from 12 colors will do. If you don't have the opportunity to buy students or professional watercolor right now, just take a simple children's ones. Sometimes I use this kids watercolor set from Faber-Castell. The next thing we need is watercolor paper. Just be sure to pay attention to the density when choosing the watercolor paper. It should be not less than 200 GSM. Actually, uh, the paper between 200 and 300 GSM is an ideal option. And if the paper is too thin, it will go curvy from the water. And if the paper is not for the watercolor, the paint will not perform on it so well. The ideal paper is Fabriano 25% of cotton. Also, a 100% cellulose from Canson Monval, uh, 300 GSM. And you can also take the paper from Winsor Newton, Hannah Müller, Bockenford, Van Gogh. Just make sure the paper you choose uh, is 100% of cellulose or uh, contains a bit of um, cotton. For example, 25%, 10% of cotton. Because the paper 100% cotton is not necessary because it is expensive and not all watercolor techniques are suitable for watercolor sketching on this paper. If you don't have the opportunity to buy these options, of course, take any other watercolor paper that you have at your local art store. Also, we'll need some additional materials like a glass of water or any can for water that you have at home, napkins or paper towels and, of course, a palette. 
You can take any ready-made palettes, uh, ceramic palettes, plastic palettes, or you can even use a simple white ceramic plate like mine. Next, we'll need a white gel pen. I recommend Jelly Roll from Sakura or Mitsubishi Pencil from Onipin. Pay attention that there are no additional instructions on the Sakura pen like glaze or souffle. Such pens won't do. They are too transparent. And of course, white gel pen can be replaced with white gouache, for example, white gouache from a kit set of gouache paints, or you can replace the white gel pen with white watercolor or white acrylic paint. And for some lessons, we may need a tape, simple paper painter's tape to attach the watercolor paper to the table or any other surface or to make a beautiful frame. You can use a washi tape as well. So these are the materials we need for watercolor sketching. Prepare the materials and see you at the next lessons. These are the materials that we need for watercolor sketching. Prepare the materials and see you in the next lesson.